Bring it on! Too slow! Here I go! Good thing. Thing. Let's move. Sure thing. Sorry, that's it for you. have to be happening they might just be warning shots try and stay calm are we going to make it in time we must cleave through my turn ha! i can do this sure thing Whew. 
my turn. We'll cut our own path. Enemy sighted. Let's take him out. Let's move. Ready to go. Try this. That's what I'm talking about. We've set ourselves a new standard. Enemy sighted. Let's take him out. Here I go. Ready to go! That's it for you. Let's wrap this up. thing. We 
shall be your foes. Let's move. Second form. Game! Please, allow me. There! I'm up. That's it for you. I did it! <laughs> Every little improvement counts. Your Highness, please hurry back inside the mansion and hide. Whatever may come to pass, we won't allow them to touch you. But, but... There you are. We are the Northern Jaegers, and we've entered a contract with the Kreutzen province. By the order of its lord, Duke Alberea, we are here to take you into protective custody. Your Highness. No! Auntie Lucia? Out of the way, woman! I ask you to leave this village at once. The Schwarzer family has historical connections with the Imperial family. So as long as I live, you will not lay a hand on Her Highness. Huh. You got guts, if nothing else. But I'm not going to repeat myself again. Our orders are that the lives of all other than Princess Alphen are of no consequence. Oh, please don't! Don't you dare lay a hand on them! <sighs> Who are you? Uncle Teo! Darling. I am the Baron of Ymir, Teo Schwarzer, and I will serve as your opponent. Begin! Not all talk, I see. The art of swordsmanship has been passed down in the Schwarzer family for generations. I couldn't hope to compare to Master Kafai or Lord Arce, but I dedicate myself to honing my skills all the same. <laughs> Clearly, you're not the type of noble who sits idly by and hires men to fight his battles for him. But I wonder how much use your sword will have if we try this. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Baron. You cowards! Have you no shame? All that matters to we Jaegers is fulfilling our contract by any means necessary. Fail to cooperate, and you know what happens next. Huh? It sounded like a machine gun. There's... there's fire everywhere! Damn it. Looks like we're up against some pretty high-ranking Jaegers here. Your Highness!
She's a monster! Reen! Reen, don't! Don't lose yourself to anger! That will only lead to a repeat of what happened eight years ago! <sighs> Elise... He's still breathing. Your father's alive, Reen. Hang in there. I'll do first aid right away. Lady Schwarzer is just fine, too. She was knocked unconscious, but I don't see any injuries. She's okay. Auntie Lucia, stay with us! Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Are you... are you back to normal? Reen, speak to me! Are you alright? Sorry, Elise. I lost control of myself again. It's alright. It's alright. You came back to me in the end, and that's all that matters. Elise, I'm sorry. I really am. Auntie Lucia? Are you alright, Auntie Lucia? Uh, your Highness, you're unharmed. Yes, I'm fine. And it's all because of you and your family. I can't even begin to thank you enough. Your Highness, there's no need to cry. You have the face of an angel. Please don't spoil it with tears. Well, I'm glad she's in no mortal danger. Tova, what about father? I've given him some first aid, but he was injured pretty severely. We should get him to somewhere he can receive proper treatment as soon as possible. No! Dad! Honestly, some people have no patience. What do you want with us this time? I had some concerns about how things were over here, so I decided to come and have a look. Duke Alborea's really gone and done it this time. It's obvious that he really wants to get ahead of Duke Cayenne, but this isn't the most prudent way to do it. <sighs> Act like he's not one of your allies. Now, now. There's no need to take your anger out on me. I can't undo what's already happened. But if it will help, I can at least clear up his mess for you. What? It's time to sleep, my children. Fall into a loving oblivion, cradled in your merciful mother's arms. Descend the mountain as you are, and you will report to Duke Alborea that you found nothing out of the ordinary. Yes, Mother. We will. Oh my! Unbelievable. So this is what you witches are capable of, is it? It's the least I could do after all the trouble you've been through. Duke Alborea is unlikely to doubt what they tell him, so this village shouldn't be targeted again for- Although, I'm guessing a gesture like this pales in comparison to what I would have to do to earn your forgiveness. Um, I- Misty, are you? Don't be taken in by her sweet talk! She doesn't do things like this out of kindness! She doesn't? Target's in sight.
Your Highness! Shit! Was she here the whole time? <laughs> now that was silly of you, wasn't it? You should never take your eyes off the princess you're meant to be protecting. As far as knights go, I'm afraid you failed spectacularly in nearly every regard. <sighs> Please, let me go! Targets apprehended successfully. Targets identified as Objective 1 and Objective 2. Mission complete. Who are you? And what do you want? And why does that thing you're on look just like Eric Getlum? It really does. I take it you being with her means you're an enforcer or something? Uh, I don't comprehend your question. Hmm. She's not with Ouroboros, actually. She's a behind-the-scenes helper of sorts who was donated to the Noble Alliance by an anonymous benefactor. Think of her as yet another ally of the Alliances, much like ourselves, Zephyr, and the Imperial Liberation Front. <coughs> Couldn't ask for a more terrifying lineup right there. If you'd like, you can think of me as the Wicked Witch. While she's the black rabbit guiding my steps with every adorable hug. Uh, stop messing around! Lady Clotilde, please give the order to retreat. There is no need to remain here any longer. <laughs> yes, I suppose you're right. Let's be going. Obstacles waiting for you, but struggle on and overcome them, and I'm sure that eventually you'll reach the stage where the Azure Chevalier awaits. Don't let me down, Rain Schwarzer. I won't let it end this way. Hang in there, you two. I'm coming for you. I promise. Has something wondrous caught your eye? Well, if it isn't Duke Cayenne and the Azure Chevalier. Marvelous, isn't it, Rufus? Does it not bring you joy to look down upon our land from such great heights? Especially when one considers our victory in the war that rages on it, all but in our grasp. I'm afraid I have far too much on my mind at the moment to take in such pleasures. But the war is, indeed, raging on, just as you say. And with every day that passes, I worry more for the people of my father's province caught up in it. <laughs> so young, and yet you've already adopted such a delightful perspective. It's clear to me now why your father holds you in such high esteem. Had I a son like you, then I too would take notice of the achievements you've carried in the war thus far. 
You flatter me, sir. Green though I may be, I intend to do all in my power to carry out your will as Supreme Commander of the Noble Alliance. <laughs> Please! I am Supreme Commander, yes, but I wouldn't permit merely anyone to take the position of Chief of Staff. Rest assured, you have earned my favor. We are both equally burdened to guide this conflict to a swift conclusion, all for the good of the common people who suffer from it. If only they understood the lengths we go to for them. And on that note, I assume you've already decided on how we will be proceeding? At present, 60% of the nation is under our control. But on the other hand, the Imperial Army still has a full 50% of its military might remaining. The key to our victory lies in deciding how best to divide the remaining armored divisions between the East and West. <laughs> Excellent. Our Alliance forces have you, as well as the Panzer Soldats. We have General Aurelia and Brigadier General Wallace, two of the finest soldiers the Provincial Armies have ever seen. To say nothing of the Azure Diva and the countless other allies lending us their aid. Our victory is only a matter of time. Wouldn't you agree, Crow? <laughs> I wouldn't get too comfortable if I were you. Just so we're on the same page here, Divine Knights aren't omnipotent or anything. Ordeen isn't going to be wiping fortresses like Gorelia off the map in an instant the way Crossbell's Ion did. They're not that mind-bogglingly powerful, sorry to say. <laughs> Come now, Crow. You're so modest. Well, no matter. We needn't concern ourselves with Crossbell for the present. Gilead Osborne has fallen. No longer will we be plagued by that detestable man and his foolish ideals. <sighs> However, his loathsome legacy still lives on. And this great nation has been filled with undesirable pollutants as a result of him and his followers. Our primary task shall be to wash away the filth and restore Erebonia to its rightful, glorious form. Land ruled by nobles. As you wish. <sighs> ah, I nearly forgot. Regarding the other Chevalier, I'm in the midst of pondering if there is a way to get him to join us. And being that you're such a close friend of his, your assistance may be required at some point. Give it some thought, won't you? Understood. You don't think it'll be quite as easy as our friend the Duke does, do you? I can see it written all over your face. <laughs> Afraid not. The army isn't the only thing we need to worry about. Not with the RMP and the intelligence division at large. Then there's the fact we couldn't catch the Crimson Wings. Whatever other potential threats piling up on the side. Plus, you know, your brother's out there too. It's way too early to be getting cocky. <laughs> My brother is no less a son of the House of Alberea. I'm expecting him to show me the best he can muster. And I don't doubt he'll come at me with everything he's got. But ultimately... Unforeseen circumstances are exactly the reason we carry only the finest insurance. Are they not, dear ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> Feels kind of overkill having all of us on the same side. Still, this is how wars are fought. Eh, whatever. So long as we get to have our fun. <laughs> Just don't forget. We're not here for you. We won't be working together forever. <laughs> oh, but the fireworks that will spark from our partnership will be ever so beautiful. 
<sighs> yeah, I guess I can help. Point taken. I can't see anyone or anything out there having a chance against this group of monsters. <laughs> That's the idea. I leave the unseen side of this War of the Lions reenactment in your capable hands. You're up against the Iron Bloods, the Crimson Wings, and the Horned Lions. With opponents like that, you needn't hold anything back. Go forth and enjoy your fill of battle.